today we're going to be looking at one of these guys. You probably notice behind me we've got one right there. The problem that we're having is that when you go to unscrew it, it gets stuck and it will not turn back on. So I want to show you what happens inside of these so that you don't force it and uh, possibly create an even bigger problem. Uh, yeah, we'll go right back and we'll show you what's going on here. Okay, so we're back. We're going to tear this guy apart and show you what happens. We'll put it down like that so we know what order these things work. So this is the side where the uh, swollen valve connects. This side is what comes out of the wall. So we normally be sitting more on a side like that. So, take a wrench, pull this apart. Piece number one, piece number two, sort of. Piece number three. And then we've got our little uh, plunger inside. That's actually what seals the water off. So it's going to be set to something like this inside with that on top. So what it does is this screw is, is reverse threaded. We go to tighten it. You notice it, come, it comes out. And the reason why is it's actually sitting in here like this, and normally that screw wouldn't come out. What it would do is it would push through, and you notice this gray plastic comes out. That, in return, pushes our uh, plunger into a surface, and of course makes it so that it won't allow water pass. Now, when you're going to unscrew these things, it's going to be coming back. And if you notice some tension and it stops, and you just you're trying to reach on it, and it's not coming out. Don't force it because this is, it's going into plastic and you can screw those threads up pretty bad. And to make matters worse, probably worst case scenario would be if this is popped out like this and it's holding the water off, okay? You get it to come back enough where it starts allowing water pressure to come through into this area. The only thing preventing it from pushing water through this hole this rubber seal in here, which is not coming off now because of the, uh, the screw. So I'll pull that apart real quick. So this seal keeps the water from going inside there and through where our screw is. Sometimes you'll notice these things leak through that hole, and that's why the seal is going back or the surface on the plastic. Now back again to worst case scenario and why you don't want to force these things. If it allows water to start to flow and this is not inside and you're trying to force it it's probably not working because the seal is not wanting to go back in there it could be over tightened and if you start getting water through there you could get a lot of water flowing flying right past your screw and leaking here and you're probably the only way to really fix that is to well number one know where the shutoff is for the building that you're working on number two get the water shut off and then you're dealing with a business that's out of water during business hours. They're not going to like you. That is if you haven't flooded the place. Now, this is not going in right now. It's actually having a problem. And what the problem is, take it apart again to show you, these things have a track that they slide on. See these, uh, this cross shaped? You notice it's added there. There's a track, it has to slide through there. And if this thing gets shifted off course, same problem, same issue, with the same end results. You don't want to force these things. Best case is, reschedule for later, come back after hours, and replace the whole darn thing. And uh, just do the job right, you know? So, that is that. Hope it helped a few of you out there. Um, I'm hoping if you're like me, you like to know what's going on inside, it helps you. It really helps you. So. That's it for today. I hope you like and subscribe and tune in later for a bunch of other beautiful videos.